All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Sweet Tea with Don B. And uh, we got another, got another Summer Wells uh, video for you, the Summer Wells case. Um, so again, thanks everybody for you know subscribing, watching the channel, and uh, you know thank you, I appreciate it. So TBI has given an update on the Summer Wells case. And apparently WJHL has reached out to TBI. It says here, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation spokesperson Leslie Earhart told News Channel 11, although we still don't have the answers we've been seeking, agents continue to work alongside the FBI and the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office to investigate the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Summer Wells. So there you go. So, and uh, before making this video, I figured I would ponder on that statement for a little bit and um, do some thinking. And, well, let's talk about this statement and let's talk about a little bit of everything going on or what's not going on in the Summer Wells case, okay? So, um... Okay, so although we still don't have the answers we've been seeking, okay, <clears throat> I'd say they don't have the answers they've been seeking. Well, know why? Because Don and Candace ain't talking. Don and Candace ain't cooperating. Well, let me just say, Don, Candace, and Grandis ain't talking. Don, Candace, and Grandis ain't cooperating, in my opinion. Uh, we've still not heard law enforcement come out and say that, you know, the family is now cooperating. Last we heard, they're not cooperating. And now you have TBI saying, although we still don't have the answers that we're, we've been seeking, uh, I think in my opinion, the answers that TBI are seeking, those answers lie with Don, Candace, and Grandis. That's where I think their answers are at that they're seeking. Okay. Now, it goes on to say, agents continue to work alongside the FBI and the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. The FBI. The FBI is still involved in Summer's case. And a lot of you may ask, okay, well, why is the FBI still involved in Summer's case, Don? I thought that they just sent out the card team and that was it. Nope, uh, the FBI uh, will intensely assist uh, local law enforcement in, in all kinds of crimes against children, you know, whether it be SA, uh, kidnapping, just missing in general. Um, there's been a lot of FBI um, assistance where... Uh, you know, families were about to lose custody of their kids and tried to hide them, tried to, um, you know, I guess make things difficult for, I guess, um, what, what do they call that? Parental, parental something. I forget what they call it. Um, but anyway, they uh, parental interference, custodial interference, something like that when they're when they're losing custody. So FBI, you know, intensely investigates that stuff too. They've investigated, you know, there's I can probably show you three or four on the FBI's website where uh, they've investigated, you know, people who were about to lose their kids and uh, they disappeared right before they lost custody. Hmm. One of them ended up in Argentina. 
still there by the way i think last i seen on fbi's website uh so yeah yeah the fbi definitely um the fbi definitely uh, and intensely investigates these situations involving children along with local law enforcement um now Here's the part I wanted to talk about. Ever since John Pruitt said that, you know, I believe summer will be close by, um, you know, there's nothing that led us to believe that, you know, she's been trafficked or taken outside the area or something like that. <clears throat> well, guys, that was two years ago, right? A lot of things may have changed between now and then that we don't know about, okay? Now, if you pay attention, I got to paying attention, and I've noticed that there's really not been any searching the Beach Creek area over the last two years basically ever since John Pruitt said that she'd be close by, that he thinks that she'd be close by. Um, you know, we've had YouTubers out there searching, you know, Ryan Finds Truth and uh, other, you know, other people periodically. But, um, no, I've not seen or heard of law enforcement out there doing any active searches along the creek, you know, since that last one they done two years ago, to, um, or maybe a little over two years ago, I, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be almost two years now, uh, or, yeah, no, let's see, yeah, a little over two years, a little over two years. Um, I didn't think it'd go on this long, guys. Uh, anyway, they, uh, they've not been any searches, as far as I know, from law enforcement in the uh, Beach Creek area. So what's going on? What's going on? Because I'm telling you, in, in my opinion, if law enforcement knew Summer's remains uh, would be in the Beach Creek area somewhere, um, in my opinion, they would still be out there searching periodically. Um, you know, it's been, what, two and a, two and a half years since the last search? Um, nothing. I mean, I would think if they believed that she was out there, they'd be doing searches maybe every three months, once a month, every six months. Uh, you know, something like that. That way they can say, okay, well, we definitely checked this. Nothing. We've checked this. You know how they've done the original search? They checked all that and nothing, right? So, you know, at that point you go, okay, well, what in that did we not search? You know, um, can we um, search what we didn't search in that perimeter? And, you know, could something, I mean, could Summer Wells be outside that perimeter? Let's check that too. Um, nothing. Nothing. Nada. So, uh, I'm kind of back on the fence, guys. I don't know if Summer Wells is... Um, going to be in the Beach Creek area. You know, John Pruitt said that two years ago, but there's not been any action from law enforcement to back up what he's saying as far as him going out and searching, you know, places periodically for summer wells. So I wonder, since this two and a half years have gone by, if something in the investigations changed to where they don't believe she's in the Beach Creek area no more. You know, so 
Yeah, that, that's got me pondering too. It's got me pondering too. And a lot of people say, and they still say to this day, there's a lot of truth. There's, there's some truth. There's some truth in a lot of what Don and Candace say and what they have said. There's some truth in there, right? So when Don and Candace say that they feel like Summer was taken, was she taken? Is that some of the truth? Is that some of the truth in there that Don and Candace have been spewing out over the last three years? As everybody says, you know, there's some truth into what they're saying. You just got to find it. So, is there some truth that someone came up there and took Summer? Now, just because someone came up there and took Summer doesn't mean... It had to be against Summer's will. It doesn't mean it had to be against Don and Candace's will. Um, you know, you have, um, you know, an obvious old-fashioned kidnapping where it would be against Summer, you know, against the will of Summer Wells and against the will of Don and Candace. Uh, that, that's your old-fashioned kidnapping. And then... You know, uh, there could have been an arranged uh, taking of Summer Wells. You know what I mean? Uh, and and with Don and Can with Don saying, you know, they've, you know, he knew something was going to happen to Summer four to five months before it did. Um, you know, with Summer, maybe if this was planned. Was Summer getting accustomed to what was about to happen? Maybe spending more time uh, with someone who was ultimately going to end up with her, you know. Uh, so there's there's two scenarios, you know, or three. You know, either she's dead, and everybody believes Don and Candace, you know, killed her, uh, or there was a, a true kidnapping, the old-fashioned kidnapping, where they just, you know, someone came up there and, you know, kidnapped Summer. And then there's, you know, the planned disappearance of Summer. You know, those are the three scenarios, in my opinion. You know, um... So, when Dawn says, you know, I knew something was going to happen four to five months before it did. And then they say, you know, someone came up here and took her. And FBI is involved. Tell me what you think, guys. Tell me what you think. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in to another video. I know it's a lot to think about, so drop your comments and everything below. Let me know what you think. Um, maybe about some ideas off each other. Think, let me know. Let me know if you think I'm onto something. Let me know if you think I'm onto something. And also, please let me know on this statement here, although we still don't have the answers we've been seeking. That came from the TBI. Let me know if you think I'm right about Don and Candace and possibly Grandis having those answers. Let me know what you think about that. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you on the next video.